Welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of Boot Hill Bounties. I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion, and in the last episode, we found Rosie's old Zorse, which is a cross between a horse and a zebra. Now, I had to fight lions to get this done. There you go. And so here we are. We got a couple of things. We had to, had to remove a few wounds from us, but yes, we had to fight lions, hippos, snakes, and a bunch of stuff. But now we're A-OK, -okay, and we found out that the person that sold the Zorse to Mad Earl McGovern was none other than Tuco. At least we think it was Tuco. A man from San, Gala, uh, uh, San Gonzales. Hello? You play bonus high strike, huh? It's free for you, my comrade. Um, sure, I'll... I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. What have I got to lose? So how does it work exactly? Oh. You win! You win! You have great bonus strength! Here, have prize! We got the tranquilizer. Someone else want to play bonus high striker? Uh, Doc will give it a shot. Don't care for games. But this looks easy enough. I don't have to do anything, you just kinda... Oh! You win! You win! You have great bonus strength here! Have prize! The popcorn maker! Uh, does somebody wanna try? Yeah, shoot, moon, go ahead. I'm not sure what the point is, but I'll try your game. Well, you'll win something. Ooh, boy oh boy! Uh, what does she get? She gets the crossbow. Oh, aren't those slow to reload? Ah, uh, Rosie will definitely win at this. Easily. This looks like a rootin' tootin' good time. I'll beat your game lickety split. Boom, and yeah, of course. Man, this is expensive for him. We're not even paying to play and we're winning prizes. But you got the frog tongue. All right, well, let's see, um, does anybody else want- Ah, but you have all won the prize at this game. Sorry, I have no more prizes. Good. Well, I'm glad. Now we can just check what they are. So he got... I don't even know, the tranquilizer, but it wasn't that good. What do we have now? I wish it compared them instead of just... I think there's a way to compare, but... Okay, so I'm at 29, but is it because the cattle man is upgraded? What about the frog tongue? Wait, that would probably be... There you go. That was actually an upgrade, so might as well. And he had the popcorn maker. And that one's also not a... So he has 36 as well as 30. I'm not sure how good that would be of an upgrade. And she had the crossbow, so probably start with the C. It's equal, but C also not upgraded, so it's tough to know. I'm not sure if this one is upgraded at all. Yeah, it's upgraded twice. The crossbow might actually be an upgrade. I actually should have used uh, Doc to cure my wounds, because now he won't level up. Alright, so now that's out of the way. Uh, let's go buy some tickets to San Gonzales. Because I'm pretty sure that's where we have to go next. Oops. Let's go. Want to uh, buy a train ticket? I don't know. I, I got lost in my accents there. I was going for Russian at first because of Ivan. Anyway, off to San Gonzales. Yes, we'll wait outside. Sure, no problem. Right here. Then after that, we'll go back to... Uh, would you like to wait for the train? Yes, of course. We actually should have went back home. But I'm not sure if the stories that I've done now would allow me to get some more farm hands and farm upgrades. All right. Here we are. Good old San Gonzales. Last stop, San Gonzales. Please watch your step. We've been through this. You're the only people that ever board my train. It's true, I've never seen anybody board with us. Lots of people waiting. Um, oh, I can pick these. Beans, beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat. Okay. I am going to talk to Rusty. He's gonna give us a hint, but also we'll get to save. 
Uh, if you're looking for the livery, I'm smelling horses in the west end of town. Okay, well, thanks. New save because it's a new episode. That's how it works, right? Can we get... Oh, man, this is a skinny bull. Oh, wait, I forgot you fight these. Uh, did we surprise them? Yeah, we did. That's good. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, let's just shoot them. Hog tie them, of course. A bounty, I suppose. We'll make some beef out of them. There you go. Uh, flame arrow. Bounty. Shoot them. I think we could probably kill him. Make sure he stays hogtied, please. And just archery. Oh, yes! Woo! We'll get an S for that one. And wow, three times that. So, how much XP did we gain each? We're at about 900. Yeah, so 296 was split four ways. It's now level four. Unlocked Advantage Surgery. Uh, removes a wound from an un incapacitated teammate. Choose a current advantage to replace. Now we'll keep the current one. I actually can't wait for him to uh, be able to equip extra vantages. Now one thing I'm not too sure about... Ooh, she has a nice hat. Let's talk to her, because we have the same hat. Do you have all the same vantages I do? Welcome to San Gonzales! Okay, not quite what I wanted. Um, can we talk to him? I'm afraid I cannot transport you. Only the deceased are granted passage here. When the sun sets, I will get these departed bodies through San Gonzales and into the church. All right, well, we want to go to the libraries. That's something we've established already. Oh, wait, let's just... Oh, we... really? We can't harvest from these guys? Oh, we'll just steal from these crops. I don't know why this... Why do they, like, glow like that? Weird. Like, I get that it's good to see what you can harvest, I guess. Uh, it's hard to navigate with the joystick. You can't walk straight. Okay. That guy is a fight. I don't feel like fighting. Let's move on here. So I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go. Uh, we've been here before, and we know something mysterious is going on in the church. Oh. Okay, well, there you go. We're going to get a hint. That's weird. It's not our first rodeo, and why did we get on our horses? This is San Gonzalez? It's a strange-looking town. It's a Spanish mission, originally established to spread religion to the indigenous people around here. Looks like some kind of festival. Do they convert the Chepa quick? Remember why we came here. Think Tuco and Sally are here? I... Uh, yeah, you guys think they're here? We've traced Honeybell to Tuco and Sally, and we know Honeybell uh, was here too, so both of them could be here. Better keep uh, 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 your eyes open. It's easy to, for them to blend in w with the crowd. Well, not really Sally. I mean, maybe Tuco. Because, you know, he's wearing like a big hat like this guy was. But Sally, I'm sorry, but it's not really. Uh, who's this guy? Ah, stay a while. Listen to my ballad. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I want to talk to any of these people. We'll go to the library because that's where we thought they were going to be. Or that's what, that's where, uh, that's what Rusty hinted at. Welcome to San Gonzales. You need caballos? Talk to me, Papa. Oh. Have you seen me, Madre? Papa says she's at the church, but she has been gone for days. Oh yeah, it's true. Como esta usted? You need caballos? Uh, what? No, um, what's Caballos? Uh, Caballos? It means horse, of course. Did you have a Zorse here? Zorse, eh? My English no tan bueno. What is Zorse? It's a horse and zebra mix. I'd have black stri- it have black stripes. Surely you've seen it. Ah, perdon, senorita. No entiendo. You sold it to man or my governor the circus. Circo? No circus! You need caballos! Ugh. This guy is Mr. Unhelpful. I think there's a language barrier. Or he's just hiding something. Huh? Ethan, let's look around for clues. Um... Yeah, let's look around for clues. 
If Tuco or Sally were here, then we'll find some evidence. Those two aren't subtle. Let's look around for clues. But anything he's hiding isn't going to be here in plain sight. <coughs> wow, excuse me, folks. Is there some way we can get into his place upstairs? There sure is. Let's go right here. Oi! Those stairs go to mi casa! No vayas! Okay, okay, okay. Well, there's definitely a way. We'll sneak around. We did it last time. Don't quite... Oh, that was a loud door. Now, it might be through up here. Are we able to walk outside? Hmm. There you go. That was easy. Wait a minute. There's somebody right there. Who's following us? <laughs> okay, that's just scary. Well, here we are. Any clues? Miguel. You said you could break those horses, but this striped beast was causing me nothing but problems. It nearly got us caught at Fort Chattahassee, and I'm worried someone saw it. Get rid of it. Tuco Delgado. Huh. Aha! I knew that fellow was a five-fibber. This is the proof we need that Miguel was in league with Tuco. Let's go confront him on this. Doc, I'm sorry, nobody can take you seriously with that friggin' head mirror or whatever they call it. Huh. Stairway's blocked right now. Huh, how come? <laughs> oh, yep. That guy won't let us through. Should have known we were being followed. Yeah, I figured that out too. You're a smart guy, aren't you? Let's do counters and mirage for now. I'd rather he be hogtied. Oh, does she hit herself? Oh, no, he does hit himself. But for very little. Uh, we'll shoot him. And then she could probably do a flame arrow. And, um... Yeah, just a bounty, I guess. Oh, man, counter. Ow! Okay. Maybe she just, just moonlight dock here. And maybe poison him. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Beagle, please. Beagle Bay. There you go. Now we can go back to this. Now. Flame arrow. Yeah, see, these guys are pretty good with their stances there. There you go. More. Ow. Okay, more counters. Let's start healing up here. Uh, Rosie. You can probably bandage up. Did. You poison them. Ow. Dude, this is a quick attack, too. That's not fair. She's gonna kill, get killed here. Okay, that's it. Now he's dead, for real. There you go. We'll probably only get, like, a B for this. Which is unfortunate. Who are you, and why are you following us? Yeah, that's right. Just a B. Ooh, but Rosie's supposed to level up. Uh, kids' bird that's not level four. Unlock the vantage harvest. Harvest uh, increases material drop. Nah, I don't want it. There you go. And we got the maraca. Oh, what does it do? Doc normal feels brave. <laughs> guess that guess that guy scared him. Temeneras condenatos. Nope. I guess one of them. What did he say? Temeneras condenatos. Dread the doomed. The doomed? What could that mean? It's about the eye of, eve of the skull. It's about the Doom 22. It's a warning. Yeah, I think it's a warning. <laughs> Obviously, it's a warning. But we don't know whether it's one of these two. Oh, this one's spilling out, so maybe that's a clue. It's a warning. I think our friend Miguel is behind this. <laughs> of course, Doc. Oh, man. Always a smart one. My husband Andreo had a valuable treasure, so Los Condenatos Vent Ventidos took him. I pray that he's still alive. Uh, me too. My I didn't talk to you. I tried to take this... There you go, this vase. Because we're collecting vases for some reason. Anything here we can collect? When you're inside, you can't press uh, the action button to... Oh, did he just drop his mask? Oh yeah! Baby! He dropped his hat. Let's see what kind of, uh, oops, that's not what I wanted. So he, it was, oh, he can't wear it. Maybe she can? Um, guess not. Maybe he can. 
Top hat, Pilgrim. No, really? Her? Oh, I guess so. Uh, Vantage, Laughter, Tumble, Juggle, Scream, and a bunch of hidden ones. Colorful Death Mask, traditionally made of horns during the Eve of Skulls. Well, maybe I'll... She's level 10 right now, right? Oops. <laughs> kind of like the vantages she has now, so it's kind of hard to just go and switch it up. Alright. Oh, no. Where's her? Where's the dad? Me papa, he went to the church to pray. Ooh, he better pray, alright. Pray that don't, we don't kick his butt. Jeez, get out of the way. Oh, yeah. He's gonna... He's gonna feel our wrath. Now, where's Rusty? I need to save. Because while I think I'm going to beat him, you never know. I knew Miguel was lying. I bet he's not very nice to dogs either. Yeah, I got that same impression, man. There, I saved your game. Thank you. Yeah, I, I got the same impression that he wasn't very nice to the canine variety. Okay. Dead. We'll go in the church here. Kind of want to go by the side door, but it's locked, so we're just going to have to find him. Probably in the confessional. He's probably confessing about his lies as he feels bad of, for being so unhelpful and lying to us. Uh, it's locked. Um, priest, have you seen Miguel? Have you seen Miguel? And Gonzalez used to be Mexican territory, but uh, it was annexed by the United States from Mexico after the, uh, whatever. Uh, the Mexican government is suffering turmoil and Los Vientidos Conendados are hoping to take advantage of that. Thankfully, Son Gonzalez is part of the United States now, and you have nothing to fear. I swear. Yeah, I'm not gonna take your word for it. Now, that's not Miguel. I'm pretty sure I'd remember what he looks like, so... I think go somewhere else. We should be pretty respectful. Maybe he went to go see uh, the grave of his wife. I don't think that was Miguel right here. He's the guy who wanted to sell us a doll. Hmm, Miguel, where are you? Pretty sure he had a hat too. Maybe he's in the side. Have you guys seen Miguel? Hmm. These cargo doors to the church are shut tight. Hmm, indeed. So Miguel went to pray at the church. Seem like he is praying to me. I mean, I'll talk to this guy. Mi hermano Arturo spends all of his money at the cantina, drinking and speaking too freely. I fear that secrets he says will lead to him in trouble, so I pray for him. Oh, there you go. We got ourselves a good hint. That's not him. All right, let's go talk to the guy at the, uh, at the, uh, pub who won't touch his mouth. Because he's clearly not praying at the church. Your papa, yeah, your papa's not a church, man. He probably just went gambling, or maybe he abandoned you. Yeah, my dad went out for smokes and never came back. I think that's that kind of classic story. Where is he? It's probably this guy. He seems like a drinking and spilling the beans type. I shouldn't have said anything. Now they'll come for me next. Dios mio. Yeah, what else? What did you say? I shouldn't have said anything. What did you tell us? Did you tell us anything? I don't think you really told us anything. Um, let's go talk to little Miguel again. Was it Miguel or Miguel's the guy I'm looking for? Uh, mi papa, he went to the church to pray. Um, we went to the church to pray. I'm afraid your papa wasn't there. Maybe I do need to talk to the priest then. Or one of them anyway. This kid will let us, um, basically go at night. Okay, so this guy told us about a guy who spills the beans. Ugh, maybe. The joystick is only I tend to go kind of like upwards a bit. Um, okay, yes. Well, okay. Could he be disguised as this person? Saludos, have you come to make an offering for the dead? Oh. Saludos. Uh, sure, maybe. Uh, marigolds and cantrina, those are traditional offerings for the dead. Is he here? Oh, that must be him. Uh, uh, you! Uh, stay back, I, I don't want any trouble! Suddenly your English is much better. Why'd you send that, that assassin? 
Why'd you send this assassin after us? Well, we don't think it's him. Uh, okay. Why'd you send the assassin? Shh! Not so loud! But they are all around us. Ooh. <gasps> the priest! The priests are all around us! Los Vientidos con Condenados. <laughs> One day I might pronounce that correctly. They're here? In this church? This place is no church. Not anymore. It's a base of operations for Los Vientos Condenados that Batuco Delgado. All the monks, all the padres, they're all secretly Tuco's personal army. All of them? That's terrible. Oops. Do the people of this town know? Some, yes, but we keep quiet and try to earn an honest living. When you started asking about that Zors, I had to tell someone in charge. I was only thinking about my son, Antonio. They've already taken my wife, Yolanda, for defying them. I'm sorry you were attacked. I did not want that, but I had no choice. So Tuco Delgado somewhere in this church? Uh, how do I get to him? Oh man, I can't even do her accent correctly now. I'm mixing everything up. It's not possible. The monks will not let anyone else pass into the inner chambers. No one will uh, living anyway. And we'll have to find a way. Like a casket. I lost my wife to Tuco Delgado and a Doom 22. After you ask about Tuco, I came here to pray that for the safety of my son. Let's get in this in this coffin. How does one get into the coffin? It's locked, of course. I have a pretty good idea. We'll have to get into the coffins, but who will sell us a coffin? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. And somebody, is there a coffin salesman around here looking for four coffins? Uh, for three children and one adult. Uh, for no particular reason. Please? Anybody? Uh, the guy in the caravan might be able to help us. This guy here. Hey, sir. Excuse me. Sir. Sir. Howdy. <laughs> Buenos dias. Uh... Oh. Okay, so he's not too happy. Your bodies will still fill my coffins. That's the plan, then. That's the plan. All right, let's hog tie the horses. Uh, probably this one, and then let's bounty him, and then how about you, no, actually, you counter, you counter, and you lunar crush. Let's go. There you go, and we shoot this one, and you bounty this one. And you hogtie this one. There you go. Uh, how about you mirage yourself? Counter, that was a bad idea, buddy. You don't go after him. A mirage, you moonlight yourself. We don't want you dying. And you hogtie the, 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 that guy. Oops. Oh, well, maybe that's what we need to do. There we go. <laughs> what? What? That's, that's baloney. Alright, well, for now, we'll just, I guess, finish him. Poison lash. Shoot. Oh man, he's not going to revive for another 15 seconds? You gotta be kidding me. Uh, okay, well, we're going to trip him. But I definitely don't want him... That's, he's already hogtied and poisoned. I mean, there's not much I can do here. Uh, oh, let's trip him again because he's doing that big attack. And I don't want him to do that. Might as well add another fire. Oh no, how about you moonlight yourself? And you beagle bay. Hog tie, make sure you... There you go. Perfect. Man, we're doing good. Guys, we're doing pretty good. I just want him to revive, to be honest. I don't want him dead. Mirage. Rolling, eh? Okay, you tumble. Oh no! Whew, there we go. Uh, let's beagle bay. Tumble. Ah, you keep tripping him, I guess. Ah, tumble. That hurt her though. I can't tell. And you 
Come on, come back. Come back. There you go. Do that to him. And then we shoot the heck out of him. Oh, almost dead. There you go. Now we got our S. What are uh, you that defy uh, the Doom 22? Alright, so we got some pretty good XP there. And woohoo! Level 22! Good job. Alright. And hats too. For Poison Light Grenade to Deluxe Vantage, you can now add Poison Light to any of Rosie's hats. Ooh, person is now level 5, graduated to a deluxe advantage. You can now add block to any of kids. Not particularly good though. Wanted poster? Really? We got the Padre hat. Okay, I'll take it. Now we have a way in. When night falls, we'll get used to this. Uh, use this to get inside the church during the Eve of Skulls. Once inside, we'll definitely find Tuco, if not Sally as well, so we need to be ready for a fight. Let me back here once we're prepared. Alright, so I'm going to save up here. Where's our good friend Rusty? Come here, buddy. Uh, there's a hearse just south of town, but I'm not getting any weird smells from it. Ah, uh, well, we already figured that out. Thanks for the help, though. And I think I'm going to end the episode here. I'm in the next episode. We're obviously going to get in the hearse. And uh, I'm hoping that we'll get into the church and put a stop to all these dastardly plans. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting. Uh, let me know what you think of Boot Hill Bounties. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye.